Hey guys, Jeeves here. So today I want to show you how to change your hard drive and your Windows computer. Remember Windows, not Mac. I don't mess with that. You're changing your hard drive into a solid state drive. Now, before we get started, there's a few things you need to know. First, make sure you move all your files from your hard drive onto an external hard drive so you don't lose them because you won't be able to access them if you're not on the external hard drive. Second thing is, there's a few things that you'll need to get beforehand, all right? So here they are. You'll need a computer toolkit, so very tiny flatheads and Phillips heads. You will need um, something to run the new Windows program off of, whether that's a external stick or disk. In my case, my computer doesn't have a CD drive, so I need an external CD drive. And then you will need new software, so new Office and new Windows, so make sure you have that as well. All right, let's get started. Oh, special shout out to Elliot, who's gonna help me do this and record. Remember, two L's, two T's, two lungs, and two knees. Okay, once you have all of the necessary materials gathered, um, you're gonna flip over your laptop, right, and you'll see there's a bunch of screws here. Now, sometimes they're hidden under the rubber pad, so you might have to remove those. In this case, they're not. So I don't have to worry about that, but you may have to. So you're going to remove all of these one at a time. You can use a drill if you want. You just have to make sure you don't strip the screws. So I'm going to use one of these to make sure that doesn't happen. Okay, once you have the uh, screws out, make sure you keep them in a pile so you don't lose them. Because um, that would really suck if you didn't have the screws to put your computer back together. So once the screws are out, you're going to take off the backing. Now, this one had clips that we had to unsnap. Um, your computer might have that. Oh, you can see there's a little bit of dust gathering up in there. So here's the hard drive right here. Um, you can tell the difference between the hard drive and the solid state drive is there's actually wheels and gears in there that turn to uh, make your computer do the commands that you do. Where here, this is just a big USB with lots of data. We're using Kingston. Found it on Amazon, about 50 bucks for 500 gigs. Um, I don't need anything more than that. So I'm going to take the hard drive, I'm going to disconnect it here, set that off to the side, take your new solid state drive, make sure you got it in the correct placement for your plug. Hook that baby back in just like that. Pay no attention to the fireworks in the background. Place that in just like this. Snap the black plastic backing back on. And then put in your screws and you're good to go. All right, now you're gonna wanna put all your screws back in and you're gonna wanna start uploading your software. So what you have to do is you have to start with your Windows program um, and I'm not necessarily going to show you how to do that here, but one last thing that ribbon that's connected to your new solid state drive You have to be very careful with that. I was not um, the ribbon is still okay We just want to make sure if anything happens to that ribbon Then you're in a whole different ball game and you don't want to do that. So move slow be gentle uh, And that's about it Okay, now we've got the solid state drive in. I'm going to show you why you would want a solid state drive compared to a hard drive. So we're going to restart the computer. You can see that that went full restart, shut down, and reboot and then back to screen, and that took about 20 seconds. How long does your computer take?